What is the function of the endocrine system? The endocrine system is the main chemical regulating system of an organism. Hormones, chemicals made and secreted by endocrine glands or neurosecretory cells are the main messengers of the endocrine system. Hormones are transported in the blood to all parts of the body and interact with target cells. Cells that contain hormone receptors, and they regulate metabolic rate, growth, maturation, and reproduction. What are the two types of urohaline fishes? There are two types of urohaline, from the Greek terms uris, meaning broad, and hals, meaning salt, fishes. One type includes flounders, sculpins, and killifish that live in estuaries or intertidal areas where the salinity of the water fluctuates throughout the day. The second type includes salmon, shad, and eels that spend part of their life cycles in fresh water and the balance in seawater. What is a mermaid's purse? Mermaid's purses are the protective cases in which the eggs of dogfish, skates, and rays are released into the environment. The rectangular purse is leathery and has long tendrils streaming from each corner. The tendrils anchor the case to seaweed or rocks, where the case is protected during the six to nine months it takes for the embryos to hatch. Empty cases often wash up on beaches. Which mammal has the shortest gestation period? Which one has the longest period? Gestation is the period of time between fertilization and birth in oviparous animals. The shortest gestation period known among mammals is 12 to 13 days, shared by three marsupials. The American or Virginian opossum, Didelphys marsupialis, the rare water opossum, or Yapak, Chironectes minimus. Of Central and Northern South America, and the Eastern native cat, Dossi urus viverinus, of Australia. The young of each of these marsupials are born while still immature and complete their development in the ventral pouch of their mother. While 12 to 13 days is the average, the gestation period is sometimes as short as 8 days. The longest gestation period for a mammal is that of the African elephant. Loxodonta africana, with an average of 660 days and a maximum of 760 days. What is the importance of an external egg in reproduction? Species that have an external egg usually produce a greater number of zygotes. Because mating between males and females is not required for successful reproduction. 
the external egg of most species has a leathery outer covering to prevent desiccation. Which animal has the longest gestation period? The animal with the longest gestation period is not a mammal, it is the viviparous amphibian. The alpine black salamander, which can have a gestation period of up to 38 months at altitudes above 4,600 feet. 1,402 m, in the Swiss Alps, it bears two fully metamorphosed young. How many eggs are produced by sea urchins? The number of eggs produced by sea urchins is enormous. It has been estimated that a female of the genus Arbacea contains about 8 million eggs. In the much larger genus Echinus the number reaches 20 million. What is a goiter? A goiter is an enlargement of the thyroid gland caused by hypothyroidism, too little thyroxine. An insufficient dietary intake of iodine is a common cause of goiter. What is the lifespan of a fruit fly? The length of adult life can vary considerably. Under ideal conditions an adult Drosophila melanogaster can live as long as 40 days. In crowded conditions lifespan may drop to 12 days. Under normal laboratory conditions, however, adults generally die after only 6 or 7 days. How fast does a hummingbird's wing move? Hummingbirds are the only family of birds that can truly hover in still air for any length of time. They need to do so in order to hang in front of a flower while they perform the delicate task of inserting their slim sharp bills into the flower's depths to drink nectar. Their thin wings are not contoured into the shape of aerofoils and do not generate lift in this way. Their paddle-shaped wings are, in effect, hands that swivel at the shoulder. They beat them in such a way that the tip of each wing follows the line of a figure 8 lying on its side. The wing moves forward and downward into the front loop of the 8, creating lift. As it begins to come up and goes back, the wing twists through 180 degrees so that once again it creates a downward thrust. The hummingbird's method of flying does have a major limitation. The smaller a wing, the faster it has to beat in order to produce sufficient downward thrust. An average sized hummingbird beats its wings 25 times a second. The bee hummingbird, native to Cuba, is only 2 in, 5 centimeters. Long and beats its wings at an astonishing 200 times a second.
What causes the Mexican jumping bean to move? The bean moth, Carpacapa saltitans, lays its eggs in the flower or in the seed pod of the spurge. A bush known as Euphorbia sebastiana. The egg hatches inside the seed pod, producing a larva or caterpillar. The jumping of the bean is caused by the active shifting of weight inside the shell as the caterpillar moves. The jumps of the bean are stimulated by sunshine or by heat from the palm of the hand. Who was Nico Tinbergen? Nico Tinbergen, 1907-1988 along with Conrad Lorenz, 1903-1989, and Carl von Frisch, 1886-1982. Laid the four cornerstones of ethological study, causation, development, evolution, and function of behavior. Tinbergen's earliest studies were of the aggressive threat displays. Of adult male three spined stickleback fish, Gasterosteus aculeatus. Tinbergen found that by presenting the male with stickleback models, he was able to elicit an aggressive response. He began his career in animal behavior as a child by studying the mating and nesting behavior of sticklebacks in his backyard pond. He attended the University of Leiden, where he did his dissertation research on digger wasps. His thesis was only 36 pages long and was barely accepted by the faculty. In 1936 he met Lorenz at a symposium, and they became lifelong friends and colleagues. During World War II Tinbergen was imprisoned in a German hostage camp and Lorenz in a Russian camp. When they were reunited after the war, both resumed their studies on animal behavior. What is ethology? Ethology emerged in the mid-1930s and was first recognized as a subdiscipline of biology in Europe. Ethology differed from traditional biological studies of animals in that scientific principles were applied to the study of animal behavior, with practitioners using both field observations and laboratory experiments. The field was developed and first recognized as a science in Europe, where experimental conditions were kept as natural as possible. How do fleas jump so far? The jumping power of fleas comes both from strong leg muscles and from pads of a rubber-like protein called rhizylin. The rhizylin is located above the flea's hind legs. To jump, the flea crouches, squeezing the rhizylin, and then it relaxes certain muscles. Stored energy from the rhizylin works like a spring, Launching the flea. A flea can jump well both vertically and horizontally. Some species can jump 150 times their own length. 
To match that record, a human would have to spring over the length of two and a quarter football fields or the height of a 100-story building in a single bound. The common flea, Pulex irritans, has been known to jump 13 in 33 centimeters, in length and 7.25 in, 18.4 centimeters, in height. Who discovered the first known hormone? The British physiologists William Bayliss, 1860-1924, and Ernest Starling, 1866-1927, discovered secretin in 1902. They used the term hormone, from the Greek word hormon, meaning to set in motion, to describe the chemical substance they had. Discovered that stimulated an organ at a distance from the chemical site of origin. Their famous experiment using anesthetized dogs demonstrated that dilute hydrochloric acid mixed with partially digested food activated a chemical substance in the duodenum. This activated substance, secretin, was released into the bloodstream and came in contact with cells of the pancreas. In the pancreas it stimulated secretion of digestive juice into the intestine through the pancreatic duct. How long do animals, in particular mammals, live? Of the mammals, humans, and fin whales live the longest. Below is the maximum lifespan for various animal species. Who was the first individual to study animal behavior? Aristotle, 384-322 b. C. E. wrote ten volumes on the natural history of animals. The Roman naturalist Pliny, 23-79 CE Also extensively observed and recorded observations of organisms in his book Natural History. In more recent times Charles Darwin, 1809-1882, recorded In his journal, The Behavior of the Marine Iguanas of the Galapagos Islands. Darwin also published a book, The Expression of the Emotions of Man and Animals, 1872, in which he showed how natural selection would favor specialized behavioral patterns for survival. However, it was not until 1953, when Nico Tinbergen, 1907-1988, documented and published his studies of gulls, the herring gulls world, and their begging techniques. That the field of ethology the study of animal behavior was established. Are any other animals able to drink seawater? Birds and reptiles that live near the sea are also able to drink seawater. These animals have nasal salt glands near their eyes through 
which they excrete the excess quantities of salt solution. What are some vertebrate endocrine glands and their hormones? There are 10 major endocrine glands in vertebrates. How many eggs does a spider lay? The number of eggs varies according to the species. Some larger spiders lay more than 2,000 eggs. But many tiny spiders lay one or two and perhaps no more than a dozen during their lifetime. Spiders of average size probably lay a hundred or so. Most spiders lay all their eggs at one time and enclose them in a single egg sac. Others lay eggs over a period of time and enclose them in a number of egg sacs. What is the composition of urine? Urine is composed mostly of water containing organic wastes as well as some salts. The composition of urine can vary according to diet, time of day, and diseases. In one measure, the makeup of urine is 95% water and 5% solids. In terms of organic wastes, per 1500 ml, Urine contains 30 g of urea, 1 to 2 g each of creatinine and ammonia, and 1 g of uric acid. In terms of salts or ions, 25 g per 1500 ml of urine contain the positive ion sodium, potassium, magnesium, and calcium, as well as the negative ions chlorides, sulfates, Phosphates. At what speeds do fishes swim? The maximum swimming speed of a fish is somewhat determined by the shape of its body and tail and by its internal temperature. The cosmopolitan sailfish, Istiophorus platypterus, is considered to be the fastest fish species. At least for short distances, swimming at greater than 60 miles per hour, 95 kilometers per hour. Some American fishermen, however, believe that the bluefin tuna, Thunnus thinnus is the fastest, but the fastest speed recorded for this species so far is 43.4 miles per hour, 69.8 kilometers per hour. Data is extremely difficult to secure because of the practical difficulties in measuring the speeds. The yellowfin tuna, Thunnus albicares, and the wyoi. Acanthocybium solandri, are also fast. Timed at 46.35 miles per hour, 74.5 kilometers per hour, and 47.88 miles per hour, 77 kilometers per hour, respectively during 10 to 20 second sprints. Flying fish swim at 40 plus mph, 64 plus kilometers per hour, Dolphins at 37 miles per hour. 60 kilometers per hour, trout at 15 miles per hour, 24 kilometers per hour, and blenny at 5 miles per hour, 8 kilometers per hour. 
Humans can swim 5.19 miles per hour, 8.3 kilometers per hour. What are the fight or flight hormones? Epinephrine and norepinephrine are released by the adrenal glands in times of stress. The familiar feelings of a pounding, racing heart, increased respiration. Elevated blood pressure, and goosebumps on the skin are responses to stressful circumstances. How fast does a hummingbird fly, and how far does the hummingbird migrate? Hummingbirds fly at speeds up to 71 miles per hour, 114 kilometers per hour. Small species beat their wings 50 to 80 times per second, higher in courtship displays. For comparison, the following table lists the flight speeds of some other birds. The longest migratory flight of a hummingbird documented to date is The flight of a Rufus hummingbird from Ramsey Canyon, Arizona, to near MT. St. Helens, Washington a distance of 1,414 miles 2,277 kilometers. Bird banding studies are now in progress to verify that a few rufous. Hummingbirds do make a 11,000 to 11,500 miles, 17,699 to 18,503 kilometers. Journey along a super great basin high route, a circuit that could take a year to complete. Hummingbird studies, however, are difficult to complete because so few banded birds are recovered. What is unique about egg incubation in some amphibians? Unlike most toads and frogs the female Suriname toad, Pipa Pipa, carries her eggs in special pockets in the skin on her back. Each egg develops in its own pocket in the female's skin. The tadpole's tails are plugged into the mother's system. Similar to the placenta of mammals, exchanging nutrients and gases. The tadpoles develop quickly, undergoing metamorphosis while still in the pockets. Upon transformation into miniature frogs, they break free of their pocket walls to begin independent lives. What is the fastest snake on land? The black mamba, Dendro aspis polylipi, a deadly poisonous African snake that can grow up to 13 feet. 4M, in length, has been recorded reaching a speed of 7 miles per hour, 11 kilometers per hour. A particularly aggressive snake, it chases animals at high speeds. Holding the front of its body above the ground. How is the gender of alligator embryos determined?
The gender of an alligator is determined by the temperature at which the eggs are incubated. High temperatures of 90 degrees to 93 degrees Fahrenheit, 32 degrees to 34 degrees Celsius, result in males. Low temperatures of 82 degrees to 86 degrees Fahrenheit, 28 degrees to 30 degrees Celsius, yield females. This determination takes place during the second and third week of the two-month incubation. Further temperature fluctuations before or after this time do not alter the gender of the young. The heat from the decaying matter on top of the nest incubates the eggs. Who was Conrad Lorenz? Conrad Lorenz, 1903-1989, became famous for his work in the field of avian ethology. Particularly in his studies of imprinting. By raising goslings from the time they were hatched. Lorenz was able to make the goslings follow him rather than their own mother. This work led to the theory that the goslings were genetically programmed to exhibit a certain behavior. With regard to any large organism that was near them during a critical early period of their life. In his publications he applied comparative methods to The study of behavior and the psychology of perception. Who was Conrad Lorenz? Conrad Lorenz, 1903-1989, became famous for his work in the field of avian ethology. Particularly in his studies of imprinting. By raising goslings from the time they were hatched. Lorenz was able to make the goslings follow him rather than their own mother. This work led to the theory that the goslings were genetically programmed to exhibit a certain behavior. With regard to any large organism that was near them during a critical early period of their life. In his publications he applied comparative methods to the study of behavior and the psychology of perception. Who first won the Nobel Prize for work on animal behavior? Although there is no specific Nobel Prize for the study of animal behavior. The first prize to be awarded for the scientific study of animal behavior was awarded jointly in 1973 in the category Physiology or Medicine to Conrad Lorenz. 1903-1989, Carl von Frisch, 1886-1982, and Nico Tinbergen, 1907 to 1988. Each ethologist had a main research area for which he was well known, Lorentz for imprinting behavior of birds. Von Frisch for the dance of the honeybees, and Tinbergen for aggressive behavior of stickleback fish. Who first won the Nobel Prize for work on animal behavior? Although there is no specific Nobel Prize for the study of animal behavior, 
The first prize to be awarded for the scientific study of animal behavior was awarded jointly in 1973 in the category Physiology or Medicine to Conrad Lorenz. 1903-1989, Carl von Frisch, 1886-1982, and Nico Tinbergen, 1907-1988. 1907-1988 Each ethologist had a main research area for which he was well known, Lorentz for imprinting behavior of birds. Von Frisch for the dance of the honeybees, and Tinbergen for aggressive behavior of sticklebackfish. What does the term Umwelt refer to with regard to animal behavior? Umwelt was first used by Jacob von Yuxkel, 1864-1944. To describe the part of its environment that an animal can actually perceive with its sense organs and nervous system. Animals display this concept in the wild, but the same behavior can be seen with domestic animals. For example, if a stranger comes into your house and tries to pet your dog. This may be perceived as a threat within the dog's umwelt. The practical side of this is that you should be aware of your Pets umwelt when introducing it to new experiences and people. What does the term umwelt refer to with regard to animal behavior? Umwelt was first used by Jacob von Yuxkel. 1864-1944 To describe the part of its environment that an animal can actually perceive with its sense organs and nervous system. Animals display this concept in the wild, but the same behavior can be seen with domestic animals. For example, if a stranger comes into your house and tries to pet your dog. This may be perceived as a threat within the dog's umwelt. The practical side of this is that you should be aware of your pet's umwelt when introducing it to new experiences and people. What is behavioral ecology? Behavioral ecology investigates the relationship between the environment and animal behavior. It emphasizes the evolutionary roots of the behavior, in contrast to the classical studies. Involving animals in laboratory settings. George C. Williams, 1926, in his book Adaptation and Natural Selection. 1966, first posed the question as to how behavior affects evolutionary fitness. By showing that behavior is responsive to the environmental forces that drive natural selection. And evolutionary fitness, researchers have demonstrated that the environment plays a crucial role in determining which behaviors are exhibited in natural settings. What is behavioral ecology? Behavioral ecology investigates the relationship between the environment and animal behavior. It emphasizes the evolutionary roots of the behavior, in contrast to the classical studies. 
involving animals in laboratory settings. George C. Williams, 1926, in his book Adaptation and Natural Selection. 1966, first posed the question as to how behavior affects evolutionary fitness. By showing that behavior is responsive to the environmental forces that drive natural selection. And evolutionary fitness, researchers have demonstrated that the environment plays a crucial role in determining which behaviors are exhibited in natural settings. What is anthropomorphism? Anthropomorphism is the attribution of human characteristics and feelings to non-humans. An example of this is Bambi, a story written by Felix Salton, 1869-1945, in 1923. The inspiration for the story came from the wildlife he saw while vacationing in the Alps. When the story was eventually made into a Disney movie. Bambi had become a talking animal, complete with human feelings and emotions. Anthropomorphism can obscure the true motivation for an animal's behavior. What is anthropomorphism? Anthropomorphism is the attribution of human characteristics and feelings to non-humans. An example of this is Bambi, a story written by Felix Salton, 1869-1945, in 1923. The inspiration for the story came from the wildlife he saw while vacationing in the Alps. When the story was eventually made into a Disney movie. Bambi had become a talking animal, complete with human feelings and emotions. Anthropomorphism can obscure the true motivation for an animal's behavior. What is sociobiology? Sociobiology, which is considered by some as a subdiscipline of behavioral ecology, is the study of the social organization of a species. Sociobiology attempts to develop rules that explain the evolution of certain social systems. What is sociobiology? Sociobiology which is considered by some as a subdiscipline of behavioral ecology, is the study of the social organization of a species. Sociobiology attempts to develop rules that explain the evolution of certain social systems. Who was Diane Fossey? Dion Fossey, 1932-1985, was an occupational therapist who, inspired by the writings of the naturalist George Schaller, 1933, decided to study the endangered mountain gorilla of Africa. She was trained in field work by Jane Goodall and went on to watch and record the behavior.
of mountain gorillas in Zaire and Rwanda. She eventually 326 obtained a PhD in zoology. From Cambridge University and in 1983 published a book on her studies. Gorillas in the Mist. In 1985 she was found murdered in her cabin in Rwanda, her death is still unsolved. Who was Diane Fossey? Dion Fossey, 1932-1985, was an occupational therapist who, inspired by the writings of the naturalist George Schaller. 1933, decided to study the endangered mountain gorilla of Africa. She was trained in field work by Jane Goodall and went on to watch and record the behavior of mountain gorillas in Zaire and Rwanda. She eventually 326 obtained a PhD in zoology. From Cambridge University and in 1983 published a book on her studies. Gorillas in the Mist. In 1985 she was found murdered in her cabin in Rwanda, her death is still unsolved. What movie was made about Diane Fossey's work with lowland gorillas? The movie Gorillas in the Mist was released in 1988. With actress Sigourney Weaver playing the role of Dion Fossey. The movie was filmed in Rwanda and Kenya and galvanized support for the plight of the gorillas. What movie was made about Diane Fossey's work with lowland gorillas? The movie Gorillas in the Mist was released in 1988. With actress Sigourney Weaver playing the role of Dion Fossey. The movie was filmed in Rwanda and Kenya and galvanized support for the plight of the gorillas. How is animal behavior studied in the field? Animal behavior is studied by construction of an ethogram, which is a listing and description of all naturally observed behaviors. Behavior can also be studied through the use of manipulative investigations, both in the field and in the laboratory. These behaviors are then categorized. In order to be objective, all observers must record behavior patterns in exactly the same way. Observations can then be statistically analyzed. How is animal behavior studied in the field? Animal behavior is studied by construction of an ethogram, which is a listing and description of all naturally observed behaviors. Behavior can also be studied through the use of manipulative investigations, both in the field and in the laboratory. These behaviors are then categorized. In order to be objective, 
all observers must record behavior patterns in exactly the same way. Observations can then be statistically analyzed. How can animal behavior be categorized? Animal behavior can be sorted into broad categories, e. g. courtship, feeding, or into more specific patterns, example attack, chase, aggressiveness. How can animal behavior be categorized? Animal behavior can be sorted into broad categories, e. g. courtship, feeding, or into more specific patterns, example attack, chase, aggressiveness. How does an animal's energy budget affect its behavior? Every animal has a finite amount of energy available for use in a unit of time. This energy usage is its metabolic rate, measured in calories or kilocalories. Plus the energy required for life activities. The energy budget places limitations on an animal's behavior. For example, a lizard which is an ectotherm, cold-blooded. Uses less energy because it does not maintain a constant body temperature. Ectotherms such as amphibians and reptiles control body temperature by behavior. Endothermic, warm-blooded, animals, e. g. birds, mammals, have a higher energy budget. Most of which is used to maintain internal body temperature. Thus, endotherms require more energy than ectotherms of a similar size. And so may spend a greater portion of their day searching for food. Other factors that influence energy requirements are age, sex, size, type of diet, activity level, hormonal balance, and time of day. How does an animal's energy budget affect its behavior? Every animal has a finite amount of energy available for use in a unit of time. This energy usage is its metabolic rate, measured in calories or kilocalories. Plus the energy required for life activities. The energy budget places limitations on an animal's behavior. For example, a lizard which is an ectotherm, cold-blooded. Uses less energy because it does not maintain a constant body temperature. Ectotherms such as amphibians and reptiles control body temperature by behavior. Endothermic, warm-blooded, animals, e. g. birds, mammals, have a higher energy budget. Most of which is used to maintain internal body temperature. Thus, endotherms require more energy than ectotherms of a similar size. 
and so may spend a greater portion of their day searching for food. Other factors that influence energy requirements are age, sex, size, type of diet, activity level, hormonal balance, and time of day. What kinds of behavior do protozoans exhibit? Protozoans react to changes in their immediate environment. But there is no evidence for any type of learning. For example, paramecia will avoid a strong chemical or physical stimulus by turning to locate an escape route. An example of a negative stimulus is cool water. Which paramecia will swim away from since they prefer warmer temperatures? What kinds of behavior do protozoans exhibit? Protozoans react to changes in their immediate environment. But there is no evidence for any type of learning. For example, paramecia will avoid a strong chemical or physical stimulus by turning to locate an escape route. An example of a negative stimulus is cool water. Which paramecia will swim away from since they prefer warmer temperatures? How many vertebrae are in the neck of a giraffe? A giraffe neck has seven vertebrae, the same as other mammals, but the vertebrae are greatly elongated. What are the problems an animal must overcome to move? In contrast to other organisms, animals are able to move. The two forces an animal overcomes to move are gravity and friction. Aquatic animals do not have much difficulty overcoming gravity, since they are buoyant in water. However, because water is dense, the problem of resistance, friction, is greater for these animals. Many of them have sleek shapes to help them swim. Terrestrial animals tend to have fewer problems with friction. Since air poses fewer problems of resistance than does water. However, terrestrial animals must work harder to overcome gravity. How does the nervous system of invertebrates differ from that of vertebrates? The least complex nervous system is the nerve net of nadarians such as hydras. The nerve net is a network of neurons located throughout the radially symmetric body. The neurons are in contact with one another and with muscle fibers within epidermal cells. These animals lack a head and brain. Invertebrates that display bilateral symmetry such as planar eons, and lids. And arthropods have a brain, a concentration of neurons at the anterior or head end.
and one or more nerve cords and the presence of a central nervous system? Vertebrates have a central nervous system and a peripheral nervous system. What are demyelinating diseases? Demyelinating diseases involve damage to the myelin sheath of neurons in either the peripheral or central nervous system. Multiple sclerosis, MS, is a chronic potentially debilitating disease that affects the myelin sheath of the central nervous system. The illness is probably an autoimmune disease. In MS the body directs antibodies and white blood cells against proteins in the myelin sheath. Surrounding nerves in the brain and spinal cord. This causes inflammation and injury to the myelin sheath. Demyelination is the term used for a loss of myelin. A substance in the white matter that insulates nerve endings. Myelin helps the nerves receive and interpret messages from the brain at maximum speed. When nerve endings lose the substance, they cannot function properly. Leading to patches of scarring, or sclerosis. The result may be multiple areas of sclerosis. The damage slows or blocks muscle coordination, visual sensation, and other functions that rely on nerve signals. In the autoimmune disorder known as Guillain-Barré syndrome, the body's immune system attacks part of the peripheral nervous system. The immune system starts to destroy the myelin sheath that surrounds the axons of many peripheral nerves, or even the axons themselves. The myelin sheath surrounding the axon speeds up the transmission of nerve signals and allows the transmission of signals over long distances. In diseases such as Guillain-Barre in which the peripheral nerves myelin sheaths are injured or degraded. The nerves cannot transmit signals efficiently. Consequently, muscles begin to lose their ability to respond to the brain's commands. Commands that must be carried through the nerve network. The brain also receives fewer sensory signals from the rest of the body. Resulting in an inability to feel textures, heat, pain, and other sensations. Alternately, the brain may receive inappropriate signals that result in tingling. Crawling skin, or painful sensations. Because the signals to and from the arms and legs must travel the longest distances. These extremities are most vulnerable to interruption. The first symptoms of this disorder include varying degrees of weakness or tingling sensations in the legs. In many instances the weakness and abnormal sensations spread to the arms and upper body. In severe cases the patient may be almost totally paralyzed since the muscles cannot be used at all. In these cases the disorder is life-threatening potentially interfering with breathing and at times, with blood pressure or heart rate and is considered a medical emergency. Such a patient is often put on a respirator to assist with breathing and is watched closely for Problems such as an abnormal heartbeat, infections, blood clots, and high or low blood pressure. Most patients, however, recover from even the most severe cases of Guillain-Barre syndrome. 
although some continue to have a certain degree of weakness. What are the upper and lower shell of a turtle called? The turtle, order testudinas, uses its shell as a protective device. The upper shell is called the dorsal carapace and the lower shell is called the ventral plastron. The shell sections are referred to as the scutes. The carapace and the plastron are joined at the sides. How much weight can an ant carry? Ants are incredibly strong in relation to their size. Most ants can carry objects 10 to 20 times their own weight. And some ants can carry objects up to 50 times their own weight. Ants are able to carry these objects great distances and even climb trees while carrying them. This is comparable to a 100-pound person picking up a small car. Carrying it 7 to 8 miles on his back, and then climbing the tallest mountain while still carrying the car. How is the peripheral nervous system organized in vertebrates? There are two divisions to the peripheral nervous system, the sensory division and the motor division. The sensory division has two sets of neurons. One set, from the eyes, ears, and other external sense organs. Brings in information about the outside environment, while the other set supplies the central nervous. System with information about the body itself, such as the acidity of the blood. The motor division includes the somatic nervous system and the autonomic nervous system. The somatic nervous system carries signals to skeletal muscles and skin. Mostly in response to external stimuli. It controls voluntary actions. The neurons of the autonomic nervous system are involuntary. This latter system is further divided into the sympathetic and parasympathetic divisions. The sympathetic division prepares the body for intense activities. It is responsible for the fight or flight response. The parasympathetic division, or housekeeper system, is involved in all responses associated with a relaxed state such as digestion. What are some diseases that affect the nervous system? Epilepsy, multiple sclerosis, and Parkinson's disease are all diseases of the nervous system. Epilepsy is a nervous system disorder in which clusters of neurons in the brain sometimes signal abnormally. In epilepsy the normal pattern of neuronal activity becomes disturbed, causing strange sensations. Emotions, and behavior, or sometimes convulsions, muscle spasms, and loss of consciousness. Epilepsy is a disorder with many possible causes. 
anything that disturbs the normal pattern of neuron activity from illness to brain damage to abnormal brain development can lead to seizures. Epilepsy may develop because of an abnormality in brain wiring. An imbalance of nerve signaling chemicals called neurotransmitters, or some combination of these factors. Parkinson's disease is a progressive neurological disorder that results from degeneration of neurons in a region of the brain that controls movement. This degeneration creates a shortage of the brain signaling chemical, neurotransmitter, known as dopamine, causing the movement impairments that characterize the disease. What is myelin? Myelin forms an insulating wrapping around large nerve axons. In the peripheral nervous system myelin is formed by Schwann cells. A type of supporting cell, that wrap repeatedly around the axon. In the central nervous system myelin is formed by repeated wrappings of processes of oligodendrocytes. A different type of supporting cell. The process of each cell forms part of the myelin sheath. The space between the myelin from individual Schwann cells or oligodendrocyte. Processes is a bare region of the axon called the node of Ranvier. Nerve conduction is faster in myelinated fibers because it jumps from one node of Ranvier to the next. For this reason it is called saltatory, jumping, conduction. What are the three main types of skeletal systems? The three main types of skeletal systems are hydrostatic skeleton, exoskeleton, and endoskeleton. A hydrostatic skeleton consists of fluid under pressure. This type of skeletal system is most common in soft, flexible animals such as hydras, planar eons, and earthworms and other segmented worms. Hydras and planar eons have a fluid-filled gastrovascular cavity. The body cavity, or chylome, of an earthworm is also fluid-filled. Many aquatic and certain terrestrial animals have an exoskeleton. The exoskeleton is rigid and hard. Mollusks have an exoskeleton made of calcium carbonate. It grows with the animal during its entire lifetime. Another type of exoskeleton common among insects and arthropods is made from chitin. Chitin is a strong flexible nitrogenous polysaccharide. While it provides excellent protection and allows for a large variety of movements. It does not grow with the animal. When an animal outgrows its skeleton. It must shed its skeleton and replace it with a larger one in a process known as molding. An endoskeleton consists of bone and cartilage and grows with the animal throughout its life. It stores calcium salts and blood cells and consists of hard or leathery. Supporting elements situated among the soft tissues of an animal. Although most common among vertebrates, certain invertebrates such as sponges, sea stars. Sea urchins, and other echinoderms have an endoskeleton of hard plates beneath their skin. 
This type of skeletal system allows for a wider range of movement than do the other two. How is animal behavior studied in the field? Animal behavior is studied by construction of an ethogram, which is a listing and description of all naturally observed behaviors. Behavior can also be studied through the use of manipulative investigations, both in the field and in the laboratory. These behaviors are then categorized. In order to be objective, all observers must record behavior patterns in exactly the same way. Observations can then be statistically analyzed. What are some animals that have pouches? Marsupials, meaning pouched animals, differ from all other living mammals in their anatomical and physiological features of reproduction. Most female marsupials kangaroos, bandicoots, wombats, banded anteaters, koalas, possums, wallabies, Tasmanian devils, etc. have an abdominal pouch called a marsupium, in which their young are carried. In some small terrestrial marsupials, however, the marsupium is not a true pouch but merely a fold of skin around the mammy, milk nipples. The short gestation period in marsupials, in comparison to other similarly sized mammals, allows their young to be born in an undeveloped state. Consequently, these animals have been viewed as primitive or second-class mammals. However, some scientists now see that the reproductive process of marsupials has an advantage over that of placental mammals. A female marsupial invests relatively few resources during the brief gestation period. More so during the lactation, nursing period, when the young are in the marsupium. If the female marsupial loses its young, it can conceive again sooner than a placental mammal in a comparable situation. Who proposed that the left side of the brain has different functions than the right side of the brain? Roger Sperry, 1913-1994, conducted the pioneering research on the different functions of the left side and right side of the brain. The left side of the brain controls language, logic, and mathematical abilities. In contrast, the right side of the brain is associated with imagination, spatial perception, artistic and musical abilities, and emotions. Sperry received the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1981 for his work. What are two of the most common forms of dementia? The term dementia describes a group of symptoms that are caused by changes in brain function. 
The two most common forms of dementia in older people are Alzheimer's disease and multi-infarct dementia. Sometimes called vascular dementia. These types of dementia are irreversible, which means they cannot be cured. In Alzheimer's disease nerve cell changes in certain parts of the brain result in the death of a large number of cells. The symptoms of Alzheimer's disease range from mild forgetfulness to serious impairments in thinking, judgment, and the ability to perform daily activities. In multi-infarct dementia a series of small strokes or changes in the brain's blood supply may result in the death of brain tissue. The location in the brain where the small strokes occur determines the seriousness of the problem and the symptoms that arise. Symptoms that begin suddenly may be a sign of this kind of dementia. People with multi-infarct dementia are likely to show signs of improvement or remain stable for long periods of time. Then quickly develop new symptoms if more strokes occur. In many people with multi-infarct dementia, high blood pressure is to blame. Which birds lay the largest and smallest eggs? The elephant bird, Epiornis maximus, an extinct flightless bird of Madagascar. Also known as the giant bird or rock, laid the largest known bird eggs. Some of these eggs measured as much as 13.5 in, 34 centimeters, in length and 9.5 in, 24 centimeters, in diameter. The largest egg produced by any living bird is that of the North African ostrich, Struthio camelus. The average size is 6 to 8 in, 15 to 20.5 centimeters, in length and 4 to 6 in, 5 to 15 centimeters, in diameter. The smallest mature egg, measuring less than 0.39 in, 1 centimeter, in length, is that of the vervine hummingbird, Melisuga minima, of Jamaica. Generally speaking, the larger the bird, the larger the egg. However, when compared with the bird's body size, the ostrich egg is one of the smallest eggs. While the hummingbird's egg is one of the largest. The kiwi bird of New Zealand lays the largest egg relative to body size of any living bird. Its egg weighs up to 1 pound 0.5 kilograms. Who was Conrad Lorenz? Conrad Lorenz, 1903-1989, became famous for his work in the field of avian ethology. Particularly in his studies of imprinting. By raising goslings from the time they were hatched. Lorenz was able to make the goslings follow him rather than their own mother. This work led to the theory that the goslings were genetically programmed to exhibit a certain behavior. With regard to any large organism that was near them during a critical early period of their life. In his publications he applied comparative methods to the study of behavior and the psychology of perception.
What is the chemical composition of chitin? Chitin, found in the exoskeletons of insects and other arthropods. Is a glucosamine polysaccharide with the formula of C30H50O19N4 and a molecular weight of 770.42. The basic units of this substance are linked together by condensation reactions to make up long chains. Hydrogen bonds link the chains together and help make chitin rigid and strong. It is a white, amorphous, semi-transparent mass that is insoluble in common solvents like water and alcohol. What is the nervous system? The nervous system is an intricately organized, interconnected system of nerve cells that relays messages to and from the brain and spinal cord of an organism in vertebrates. It receives sensory input, processes the input, and then sends messages to the tissues and organs for an appropriate response. In vertebrates there are two parts to the nervous system, one, the central nervous system. Consisting of the brain and spinal cord, and two, the peripheral system. Consisting of nerves that carry signals to and from the central nervous system. Which animals can run faster than a human? The cheetah, the fastest mammal, can accelerate from 0 to 45 miles per hour, 64 kilometers per hour. In two seconds, it has been timed at speeds of 70 miles per hour, 112 kilometers per hour, over short distances. In most chases cheetahs average around 40 miles per hour, 63 kilometers per hour. Humans can run very short distances at almost 28 miles per hour, 45 kilometers per hour, maximum. Most of the speeds given in the table below are for distances of 0.25 mi, 0.4 kilometers. Who first won the Nobel Prize for work on animal behavior? Although there is no specific Nobel Prize for the study of animal behavior. The first prize to be awarded for the scientific study of animal behavior was awarded jointly in 1973 in the category Physiology or Medicine to Conrad Lorenz. 1903-1989, Carl von Frisch, 1886-1982, and Nico Tinbergen, 1907 to 1988. Each ethologist had a main research area for which he was well known, Lorentz for imprinting behavior of birds. Von Frisch for the dance of the honeybees, and Tinbergen for aggressive behavior of sticklebackfish. What is a reflex? A reflex is an involuntary response formulated in the spinal cord to a specific stimulus.
which mammals lay eggs and suckle their young. The duck-billed platypus, Ornitharynchus anatinus, the short-nosed echidna or spiny anteater. Tachyglossus aculeatus, and the long-nosed echidna, Zaglossus bruigeni, indigenous to Australia. Tasmania, and New Guinea, respectively are the only three species of mammals that lay eggs. A non-mammalian feature, but suckle their young, a mammalian feature. These mammals, order Monotremata, resemble reptiles in that they lay rubbery. Shell-covered eggs that are incubated and hatched outside the mother's body. In addition, they resemble reptiles in their digestive, reproductive, and excretory systems and in a number of anatomical details, eye structure. Presence of certain skull bones, pectoral shoulder girdle and rib and vertebral structures. They are, however, classed as mammals because they have fur and a four-chambered heart. Nurse their young from gland milk, are warm-blooded, and have some mammalian skeletal features. How is the vertebrate brain organized? The vertebrate brain is divided into three regions, the hindbrain, the midbrain, and the forebrain. The size of each region of the brain varies from species to species. The hindbrain may be considered an extension of the spinal cord. Hence, it is often described as the most primitive portion of the brain. The primary function of the hindbrain is to coordinate motor reflexes. The midbrain is responsible for processing visual information. The forebrain is the center for processing sensory information in fish. Amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. How does an animal's energy budget affect its behavior? Every animal has a finite amount of energy available for use in a unit of time. This energy usage is its metabolic rate, measured in calories or kilocalories. Plus the energy required for life activities. The energy budget places limitations on an animal's behavior. For example, a lizard, which is an ectotherm, cold-blooded, uses less energy because it does not maintain a constant body temperature. Ectotherms such as amphibians and reptiles control body temperature by behavior. Endothermic, warm-blooded, animals, e. g. birds, mammals, have a higher energy budget. Most of which is used to maintain internal body temperature. Thus, Endotherms require more energy than ectotherms of a similar size. And so may spend a greater portion of their day searching for food. Other factors that influence energy requirements are age, sex, size, type of diet, activity level, hormonal balance, and time of day.
How can animal behavior be categorized? Animal behavior can be sorted into broad categories, e. g. courtship, feeding, or into more specific patterns, example attack, chase, aggressiveness. <laughs>